hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel hey inside of today's video we are gonna be discussing about some of the questions regarding finnish university entrance examination i have gathered some of the questions along with their answer and i'm gonna be explaining you the answer to this question which may be asked inside of finnish entrance examination so this will be the final part of the sample questions and along with their answer for the Finnish university for their entrance examination and let me know in the comment section from which country you are watching this video i have been doing survey regarding this particular question and i have found out that most of my viewers are from bangladesh so if you are watching from any of those country you guys may comment down from which country you are watching this video from i would like to keep survey of uh, from which country people are watching my video from so uh, let me know in the comment section from which country you are watching this video so let's start today's video and i'm gonna be showing you some of the questions that may be asked in finnish university this question may be helpful for bba students as well as engineering is in student as well as the student appearing for nursing examination so let's start today's video so the question i'm gonna be showing you is from the basic mathematics and it is the part two of the mathematics video that i'm showing if you haven't watched my previous video this the link with to the video will be on the top right side corner which will be appearing right now you can click that video and watch that whole part of the video and uh, you can uh, simply watch this video first of all and then go to that particular video so now let's start today's video with the first questions from the simplification the a part of the question is two divided by 6 times 4 divided by 3 minus 1 by 3 first of all we know that we need to do the BOD MAS rule uh, bracket of multiplication division addition and subtraction here uh, the multiplication is appearing first so we need to multiply the two of the number 2 divided by 6 times 4 divided by 3 which is which will be equals to 8 divided by 18 which is subtracted to 1 divided by 3 and here we need to take the LCM the LCM will be 18 so 8 minus 1 times 6 here 1 is multiplied by 6 because 18 divided by 3 is 6 so 1 is divided by 6 and uh, the answer will be 8 minus 6 which equals to 2 therefore 2 by 18 which will be equal to 1 by 9 now let's move to question number b here minus 3 times 1 plus 2a minus 2a plus 1 bracket 2 minus a plus 2 here we multiply minus 3 with 1 plus 2a so minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 and minus 3 times mi plus 2a is minus 6a and we will multiply 2a plus a times 2 minus a here 2a will be written first of all then 2 minus a written is written at back and plus 1 which is multiplied by 2 minus a plus 2 at last so we need to do all the simplification of the like term here minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 minus 6a is as it is and we will multiply the bracket one 2a times 2 is 4a 2a minus a will be minus 2a square and plus 1 times 2 will be plus 2 plus 1 minus a will be minus a and we will again simplify the like term over there so minus 1 minus 6a is written as it is and minus bracket 4a minus a will be 3a so 3a minus 2a square plus 2 and now we will open the bracket with the negative sign minus 1 minus 6a is written as it is and minus times plus will be minus so therefore minus 3a and minus times minus will be plus therefore plus 2a square minus times plus will be minus therefore minus 2 and we will do again simplify at the last and our answer will be 2a square minus 9a minus 3 question number c is very simple here a b times 1 divided by a plus 1 divided by b is given we need to just take the lcm and then uh, the ab in the numerator and ab from the denominator will be cancelled out therefore our answer will be a plus b let's move to question number two question number two is the question solving for the x from the given equation here the given equation is 2 minus 1 minus 2x bracket minus x plus 2 times 1 minus x equals to x minus 1 minus x let's go to the solving equation here we will just open the bracket 2 minus 1 minus minus will be plus therefore plus 2x minus and here x plus 2 and 1 minus x is being multiplied so we will multiply them as we have done in question number 1b and we will just keep keep them in the form of multiplication equals to x and here the bracket of uh, 1 minus x is being opened with the negative sign so minus 1 plus x and the third step second step will be cancelling the 2x 2x from the given equation here plus 2x in left hand side 
will be cancelled out with the plus 2x from the right hand side and the remaining part will be written as it is in the below by multiplying the x plus 2 1 minus x from the second line 1 plus 1 is cos 2 x minus x square plus 2 minus 2x here the whole multiplied term will be shifted to the right hand side after cancelling the 2x 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 therefore 2 equals to minus x minus x square plus 2 we will write all the terms in the left hand side therefore x square plus x plus 2 minus 2 is equals to 0 plus 2 and minus 2 will be cancelled out so x square plus x is equals to 0 here we will take x common from the equation therefore x times x plus 1 is equals to 0 here we can see that the x has two value either the x the value of x will be 0 or the value of x will be minus 1 let's move to the b number here x minus 1 whole square is equals to x plus 1 x minus 1 we know that the x minus 1 is in the form of a minus b whole square so therefore we will use the formula of a minus b whole square therefore x square minus 2x plus 1 is equals to and x plus 1 x minus 1 is in the form of a square minus b square therefore we can write it as x square minus 1 here we can see that x square and x square is being cancelled out therefore we will cancel those two numbers we can write this uh, remaining number as minus 2x plus 1 is equals to minus 1 here minus 2x is written as as it is and plus 1 is shifted to us right hand side therefore it will be minus 1 mi minus 1 minus 1 which will be equals to minus 2 or minus 2x is equals to minus 2 the minus minus sign will be cancelled out and the 2 2 will be also cancelled out therefore x is equals to 1 so therefore the value of x is 1 here question number c is similar to the previous one you can simply calculate this and i have already given the answer to this question over here this question is for your practice if you are feeling any trouble solving this you can simply just look at the answer that i have solved and then you can tell your answer and then you can correct your answer if you have any discomfort or any trouble solving this question now let's move to question number three question number three is from time and work so the question goes like this a can do a job in six hours and b can do the same job in three hours working together how many hours does it take to do the whole work for them so we know that a can do whole work in six hours so we can say the complete work as one work so a can do one work in six hours therefore the a can do one by six work in just one hour similarly b can do one by three work in one hour combined both of them can do one by six plus one by three which will be equals to two by three work in just one hour so we know that in one hour both a and b can do two by three part of the work therefore they can complete the whole work in three by two hours just reversing the numbers which will be 1.5 hour therefore they can do the whole work in just 1.5 hour if they work together let's move to question number four question number four is the similar question that we have already practiced in our previous video if you haven't watched our previous video it will be in the top right side of the ie button or you can simply go to the description there i will put the playlist of the whole video from there you can watch each and every video i have made regarding finished entrance examination so let's just solve the question as fast as we can the question goes like this the price of a hotel room after a 20% decrease is 140 euro. What was the original price of the hotel room? So here we will assume the original price to be x. Therefore, x minus 20% of x will be equals to 140 euro. Or x minus 0.2x is equals to 140. Or 0.8x is equals to 140. Therefore, x will be equals to 175 euro. Therefore, our original price of the hotel room was 175 euro and we got 20% discount so subtracting 20% discount the total price will be 140 euro therefore our option will be option number d question number five is a little tougher than the previous questions first of all let's read the question in a hotel restaurant sales weigh two third of accommodation sales restaurant sales and accommodation total weigh 200,000 euro per month then the options are given over here we need to analyze the question first of all let's read the question again and then i will be explaining how to solve this question first of all we will read restaurant sales were two third of the accommodation sales so the total restaurant sales was two third of the accommodation sales and restaurants and accommodation sales together were total 200,000 euro per month so first of all we will need to make equation and then we can just solve the answer 
Here we will assume the restaurant sales to be R and the accommodation sales to be A. So from the first line we can say that restaurant sales were two third of accommodation sales. Therefore R which means restaurant sales is equals to two third of accommodation sales which is A. Therefore from equation 1 R equals to 2 by 3 A. On the second line restaurant sales and accommodation sales totally were 200,000. Therefore R plus A is equals to 200,000 R being restaurant cell and A being accommodation cell. By solving two equation, we can calculate the value of A. Substituting equa equation 1 in equation 2. Here, the value of R is being substituted in the equation 2. Therefore, 2A by 3 plus A is equals to 200,000. Then we will take LCM over there. 2A plus 3A divided by 3 is equals to 200,000. And 3 will be multiplied to 200,000. Therefore, 2A plus 3A is equals to 5a therefore 5a is equals to 600,000 as 3 is multiplied with 200,000 therefore a is equals to 120,000 euro because 600,000 is divided by 5 which will be equals to 120,000 euro therefore a will be equals to 120,000 euro and by substituting the value of a in equation 2 we can find the value of r which is restaurant sales the restaurant sale will be 80,000 euro by looking at the answers given in the question, we can see that the number E is the correct answer as accommodation sales were 120,000 euro per month and we have calculated the value of accommodation sales to be 120,000 euro. So therefore our correct answer will be option E. Let's move to question number 6. Question number 6 says food revenue of a restaurant is 80% of the total revenue. Lunch revenue is 50% of the food revenue. Lunch revenue of the total revenue is the question has given us certain condition and it is asking us what is the lunch revenue of the total revenue. The options are given on the left hand side and we will assume the total revenue to be x. Therefore, the food revenue will be equals to 80% of the total revenue. As in the question it is given that food revenue of a restaurant is 80% of the total revenue. Therefore, food revenue will be equals to 0.8x. And in the second line of the question, Lunch revenue is 50% of the food revenue. We have already calculated the food revenue to be 0.8x. Therefore, 50% of food revenue which is 0.8x. 50% of 0.8x which will be equals to 2 divided by 5x or we can simply write it as 0.4x. Therefore, our correct answer will be 2 divided by 5 which will be in option C. So, our correct answer is option C. So, let's move to the final question which is question number 7. Question number 7 is a little bit tricky question because here the correct answer is not given as we have to guess the answer in this question. First of all let us read the question then we will understand what will be the answer. Based on the equation 5 times x plus 860 is equals to 2 times x plus 380. You can say either x is less than 0 or x is equal to 7 or x has two values or 150 is less than x which is less than 200 or x is greater than 500. Among these 5 answers, which of them is the correct one? We have to calculate that one. So let us solve the equation first of all. 5 times x is 5x plus 860 is equals to 2 times x is 2x plus 380. Here 5x is written in the, its own place and 2x is brought to us left hand side. Therefore 5x minus 2x is equals to 380 is written as its own place and 860 is brought to right hand side. Therefore 380 minus 860 or 5x minus 2x will be 3x which will be equals to minus 480 at is has come from 380 minus 860 or x is equals to minus 480 divided by 3 therefore x will be equals to minus 160 we know that minus 160 is less than 0 therefore the value of x will be less than 0 which will be in the option a so our correct answer is option a so this is the end of our video and i hope you like today's video and if you did find this video a little bit useful and informative, please make sure to leave a like on the video and let me know in the comment section from which country you are watching this video from. And if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I will be posting such contents that you will like and uh, you can give us your feedback about today's video by commenting in the comment section. By saying this much, I want to say thank you everyone for watching this video till the end and have a good day and best of luck for your upcoming Finnish entrance examination.